Okay. Yeah, first, uh, I'd like to thank the organizer, you know, for organizing this uh, uh, meeting. Oh, although only one day and a half, I already learned a lot. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about a systematic construction of so-called non-liquid topological phase. So we know that the many body system have a Hilbert space, uh, which allow a tensor product decomposition. Uh, actually, for quantum field theory, uh, it uh, may not have such kind of Hilbert space. So this, uh, this uh, tensor product decomposition property uh, recently became a definition of a gravitational anomaly. We also know that uh, for the system of, for the many body system with energy gap, we just have a, a spectrum uh, in the eigenvalue. Uh, we have a gap in the eigenvalue spectrum. And, but however, to really define the gap uh, carefully, uh, we don't have a, we should consider a sequence of a many body system where uh, there's a more and more site. So number of sites go to infinity. So therefore the gap, the property is not a property of a single system, but a property of a sequence system as n go to infinity. So this, uh, 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 this led to this uh, uh, definition of the uh, uh, of gap of phase. And uh, uh, to define the gap of phase, we have to really uh, consider this sequence of a many body system as size go to infinity. And these two, two sequences are connected by this uh, local unitary transformation. All the ground states or ground state subspace, to be more precise, are connected by the local unitary uh, transformation. Okay, so this, uh, this defines the equivalence between two sequences, and then that's, that's defined the phase of the quantum uh, gap, a uh, gap phase. But however, uh, to only define the the local unitary transformation connecting two systems with the same size is not enough. Because uh, as a size goes to infinity, we have to consider how system with different size are related. If you have a translation symmetry, then we can just uh, repeat the local Hamiltonian, then we have a way to define the relation between system with different size. But however, for the system with no translation symmetry, then it became very, very tricky. Uh, maybe the system with the one size is quantum Hall states, another size is a symmetry breaking states. So, so therefore we need something more to connecting system with different size. And this led to this uh, uh, notion of a quantum liquid fix, which is that uh, the system with a different size, if they are connected by adding tensor product states, then we say they are similar, they are in the same fix. Okay. So it's really like a dissolving the product states. Uh, if a system with different size differ by just dissolving or adding these uh, product states, then we say they are equivalent. And so, so this, uh, this really define, uh, 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 this, this really picture, this really is a more precise uh, definition of a gap uh, quantum phase. But it turns out that this definition is kind of uh, restricted. It's a, uh, not every gap phase with translation symmetry uh, can be defined this way. And the, the example of that is uh, this, uh, 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 this uh, layered uh, quantum Hall states. Okay. So we have uh, this, uh, 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 if you stack a non-trivial quantum Hall state into many layers to form a three-dimensional system, and we will say that is a, certainly a gap quantum phase. But this gap quantum phase is not a liquid uh, using this definition because the system with different size are not connected by dissolving the product states. Okay. And so this really led to this uh, so-called gap non-liquid phase. Okay. And, uh, and the reason is that uh, we, we, we can have a gap non-liquid phase is really because that's uh, the topological order uh, form a so-called community for monoid and the stacking operation. Certainly we can stack two topology order and uh, uh, to form a third topology order. But this uh, stacking operation is not group-like because we could have a topology order which could stack with any other topology order can never produce a product states. The product state is a trivial or unit under stacking uh, uh, operation. 
So, so that means this topological order have no, no, no inverse. Uh, so because there's no, because we do have most topological order are not, not invertible. And uh, so therefore uh, their stacking uh, uh, cannot cancel each other. Okay. And uh, so, so what that means, that means uh, the topological, you get a more and more topological expression when you're stacking more and more topological together. And uh, so, so you never get back to the simple one. Okay. This also this this kind of a uh, 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 this kind of a property that's a no inverse is really because uh, uh, the topological extension there's a local topological extension in each layer cannot tunnel between layers okay and uh, uh, so because they cannot tunnel into the layer they, the the ex topological extension in different layer cannot annihilate and uh, so that's why when you're stacking many topological together you get a more and more topological excitation. You, you, you never uh, go back to trivial one. And so this is a, so this non committed monoid, this is a property and the topological extension cannot tunnel between layers are very close related. They also relate to this emergence of a subsystem symmetry because the topological extension will be conserved in each layers. And uh, so, so we see that uh, this uh, uh, subsystem symmetry and uh, this fraction order are related so, so you can see that uh, this, uh, this uh, 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 non, uh, non invertible topological order and uh, the, uh, the fractal order are also related. So, this is basically the main top topic of this talk. And uh, so, uh, so, the first example of this uh, fractal order, actually, at that time it's called the quantum galaxy, it's given by uh, Claudio Chamon. And uh, he, 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 he constructs some commuting project model on FCC lattice. And then the Hart's cubic code is another uh, uh, fractal order, which is uh, uh, more exotic, have a fractal uh, structure. Okay, so uh, so how to understand this uh, uh, non-liquid phase uh, systematically? And uh, uh, the 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 motivation is really that uh, uh, this non-liquid phase have a foliation structure become from this uh, stacking of. Uh, uh, many two-dimensional topological order. So this layered structure cannot be renormalized away. Okay. And so therefore the renormalization seems uh, not so helpful. It's hard to get a quantum field theory from, from this conventional point of view. Okay. So to, so to obtain a, a systematic label, so we want to get some label of a, a, some fixed point of a non-liquid phase. So one idea is that to do this reverse renormalization. Since uh, those uh, layers are literally there, it cannot be get rid of them. So we need to live with them and actually accept them and make them more, more obvious. And uh, so one way to do so is to, to add the product states and to make those layer more and more separate. And so, so, therefore, uh, so therefore each, each patch uh, became very large, and then which can flow into some kind of topological order, some kind of a, something simple. So therefore, this is really the idea of a reverse renormalization. And uh, so then, if the if this procedure indeed works, then we will get uh, this layer which are described by topological order. Okay, and uh, we know that in two dimension topological order. Uh, we can using this uh, SP matrix, uh, which is representation of uh, SL2Z to roughly label them, uh, which is approximation of modular tensor category. Okay. The certainly uh, only have ST matrix on each layers to label uh, this uh, non-liquid phase, that's not enough. Uh, those, uh, those topology order uh, also connect uh, the intersect. So we also need the data to describe how they join. Okay. And uh, so, uh, uh, so one way to describe uh, how topological order join is uh, to consider uh, 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 their boundary states because when two topological join like this and join, then we can view them as a, as a folded one. And then just uh, the stacking two topological order, order with some boundary. So that, and then we can classify the boundary of a topological order by following condition. 
The stacking of two plus large order, for example, disturbed by ST and S prime T prime, are given by the tensor product of ST uh, matrix. Okay. And then it turns out that uh, uh, the boundary for this uh, stacking topology order is classified by the integer uh, uh, vector, or integer matrix, whatever. Uh, so this integer vector are invariant under this ST transformation. So, so the positive integer uh, vector or integer matrix uh, satisfy this condition, really classifying this uh, the boundary. And then, then for the joint of three topology order, we can do, we have this ST, ST and S prime T prime, S, this double prime, they have very similar condition. So therefore tensor, some, some tensor, which are invariant under ST operation, really classify uh, the uh, different topology order, or different boundary or topology order. So this is the ingredient for us to build a, a network, a tensor network, of, uh, of the two plus one dimension topology order. So we can imagine we have a lot of two plus one dimension topology order and they join together. And then this, uh, and they form this uh, a tensor network. And the data to describe them join, the, their jointing is really uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, three, rank three tensor uh, satisfy uh, this condition. And the uh, ST matrix is a, is a data to describe a topology order on the surface. And furthermore, uh, we can also do the renormalization. Uh, for example, we can consider uh, 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 this uh, topology order which is joined as uh, this two triple junction. And we can view these uh, two triple junction together as a one uh, junction which uh, join four topology order. And when you view this way, you find this, uh, this junction joining four topology order can also be viewed as this kind of a two triple junction in this way. Okay. and. Uh, so, so this, this allow us to renormalize re this uh, uh, tensor network of a topology order. And uh, so uh, we can connect, uh, we can change this kind of, of uh, uh, junction into uh, this uh, vertical junction. And then we can treat this uh, uh, three junction together as a single junction and etc. cetera. And uh, so it turns out that uh, uh, in, under this uh, tensor network renormalization of topology order, if the surface topology order uh, go back to se se self, uh, for example, if you have a topology order uh, described by this, uh, a natural topology order described by this uh, M and C and D, the junction, and uh, they transform into a new topology order, new network topology order described by this uh, M tilt, C tilt, D tilt. If this uh, under renormalization is they are the same, then we get the gap liquid effects. But however, uh, in most case, uh, they are not the same and they cannot be the same. Then that's how we get the non-liquid effects. So this is one way uh, to do the non-liquid effects. And uh, for example, let's consider a uh, two plus one dimensional uh, Z2 topology order. Uh, there are triple junction, actually there's a ton different uh, triple junction uh, labeled by this. But those different triple junction are really uh, given by the condensation, for example, the first uh, triple junction, are really given by this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this pair of E belong to different uh, layer uh, uh, can uh, condense. But however, only triple M uh, condense on this uh, junction. So this is uh, describing this uh, how, they, uh, how they condense, uh, how, the top, how the topological excision on the layer condense on their junction. That's uh, how we classify a different junction. When a pair of E can condense on a junction, that really means uh, the topological excision, the E excision in one layer can jump to another layer. Okay. But however, uh, when you have a triple M condensed, that means uh, a single M on one, top, one layer cannot jump to another layer. It has to split into two M uh, to go to, the, to, to more around. So this really led to this, uh, uh, this fractal like uh, non liquid effects. And for example, uh, we can have a Z2 topology order uh, on, each, uh, on each layer, but uh, we have two junction. Uh, the one junction is on even lattice, is a, a first junction, and the other lattice is a third junction. And for the first junction, the E can, uh, for the red junction, the E can hop around. But uh, for, the, for the third junction, uh, the, the M can hop around. 
but but we can see that because arrangement we see that uh, uh, the the hopping e is blocked uh, by the uh, by the blue junction, and so so therefore uh, so that that's how we get the uh, restrict the motion. So this is uh, uh, it turns out that uh, the uh, the uh, this kind of uh, arrangement is a uh, fractal like, and uh, so that's my last slide. So the bottom line is that. Uh, Seems that uh, many uh, gap non liquid phase uh, can be described by a network of gap uh, liquid. But which one can, which one cannot, uh, is still an uh, open question. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks, Xiaogang, for the nice talk. Owners.